Hello everyone, welcome to the Gaming Ocean. And today we're getting some uh, Gears of War 3 multiplayer gameplay out. So are you guys ready? This is uh, in my first day of Gears of War 3, so the gameplay might not be that good, but I hope you guys enjoy it either way. Yeah. So uh, I kind of just started out in a uh, team deathmatch today. And uh, let's go ahead and get this started. So I'm uh I'd like to say uh hello everyone if you guys are new to this, uh welcome. It's, uh means a lot that you've seen this video and uh I hope you guys get to enjoy this. Now uh, it's Gear Wars Gears of War three and I've never had a uh, Gears title before, so this will this is my first. So I'm not familiar with everything, so if you guys have any uh tips or anything, feel free to leave them in the comments because I wanna make a uh, tip video for this game later. And uh, those would really help me out. And uh, I might even give a little shout out at the end to tip suggestions. And uh, uh, this game actually is pretty fun. I've been looking at it, and it's a lot more strategy than you think because the enemies are really hard to kill. It takes a lot more to kill someone. And uh, I find flanking usually works best because that just they'll because uh, a lot of enemies use cover. And if you just flank them, it makes it really easy just to get behind them and take them out. Because they really don't have any protection at that point. It's either face you or face your teammates. And uh, the headshots also work pretty well, so I try aiming for the head. But I'm, uh, you know, shotgun, close range. I actually uh, failed here. Missed the epic shotgun to kill them. So right now I also have one more video to take care of that I've also picked out that I've recorded today that I'm going to upload probably tomorrow. And then we're going to go ahead and get some more stuff from here. I'm kind of riding this out to a lot of the new titles come out in November. So, uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, Skyrim, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Those are all good ones that I'm uh, looking at getting. So, No, I'm a, a lot of uh, a lot of this game is kind of uh, hiding behind cover and dunking and sprinting. And a lot of people don't like it because it's a third-person shooter. But personally, I find third-person shooters are pretty fun. I like the targeting system a little bit more actually than first-person for some reason. And uh, I don't know, I just kind of find the system good. Also, I like how this game's set up, like the revival system, uh, even reloads take a little bit of effort because you also have to hit that action reload and the reload down perfect and re you can revive everyone can be revived and you can revive yourself so it's not like Call of Duty and you're stuck there alone if no one wants to come help you because they're all gay and yeah it's uh, pretty fun so uh, how are you guys all doing I uh, haven't gotten a little ask you guys because that last video I put out was actually very very old so that was a Bioshock 2 video I'm, uh, I'm hoping you guys will enjoy this. I'm planning on putting a bit more multiplayer out for this because my let's plays usually aren't that good. But if you guys want to see a let's play of something, let me know because I might do an Assassin's Creed one or something. And uh, I really want to go ahead and get this. Uh, I don't know about let's plays just because I never finish them. I'm trying to work on that. I'm trying to get my channel going uh, a bit better. But yeah. Uh, so I hope you guys will tell me, but uh, I'm going to do a lot of tip videos, uh, achievement hunters, fun little easter egg stuff like that for this game, and some multiplayer gameplay, and that's uh, what I'm going to try and tend to stick to now. So I'm, um, uh, see that's uh, already round one out of the way, and we pretty much stomped on him. Oh, one, no, I didn't die at all. And uh, now we're back with round two. And uh, also another thing I like about this is the weapon system. Because the p same power weapon will never be on the same map, like in the same two consecutive rounds, because the weapons change all the time. One day you'll have like this pistol here, and then the next game 
you'll have a different pistol. So it really makes the maps a lot more dynamic because every single time you're going to have a different way to play it. Like if there's uh, long shots on the map, which I've only gotten to use like once. Because sniping uh, is extremely hard to get a hold of. But uh, if there's long shots on the map or something, uh, failed. But uh, <laughs> what was I saying? I'm off topic. If there's a uh, long shots on the map or something, it uh, makes it a lot easier just to go ahead and use. Because uh, because then you gotta stay back. But if it's something like the uh, what am I thinking of? Thing. You guys know what I'm thinking about. The little missile launcher type thing. <laughs> it's it's in my brain. I don't I don't know what I'm doing with it. And uh, and uh, this is I actually didn't know you can just spam A to revive yourself. Like, but uh, if you stay still and spam A, I guess you can bring yourself back to life. But other than that, you're gonna need someone to revive you. Uh, other than that, um, this game's just, also, it's been a while since I've gotten a bit into multiplayer, like competitive, shooting, killing, death to all people multiplayer, and this multiplayer actually is pretty fun, it preoccupied me for a majority of the day, after I got it, so uh, I am very pleased with it, I would like to say, a lot of uh, dependence comes on teammates because uh, so always play with a teammate. I suggest uh, getting an Xbox Live party if you're gonna play together because yeah, it just makes it a lot easier to play. And it also I think it would also make it a little bit more fun. I've not really gotten to play it much because one of my friends is waiting on it. Another friend just I don't think he's gonna get it, but he wants it. And, uh, a lot of my friends who do have it just haven't been on. So I've, uh, been playing alone, but I think I've been getting a bit better. I've been working on the weapons and everything. I've been getting used to a lot of the shooting controls and everything. So hopefully I'll have something to put out soon that's of actual good quality. So, uh, surprisingly, we're already uh, about eight minutes into the video, so we're getting close to an end. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah. That wonderful death of chainsaws. I also like how some weapons have different melees. Like the Retro Lancer, you can run up and stab him. And the chainsaw on this one's kind of just an instant kill. But if you use the hammer shot, as far as I know, you don't get anything. I'm actually thinking about using the hammer shot, but I like the, the Lancer more. And, um, like right now, he's got the uh, power weapon. I don't remember what it is called. But, um, it's a power weapon that I have, it's a machine gun. And it, uh, it lets you. It's just a big, souped up version of, I guess, the Lancer, Retro Lancer or something. Just, I mean, same principle. You shoot, they die. You shoot very fast. But, um, also, what I would suggest a lot in this game is give cover fire, because a lot of people, because you can shoot at someone and they're just going to go behind cover. So that means that while you're shooting at them, your teammate can go. And then your teammate can shoot at them and you can meet back up with the teammate. And, uh, playing with other people gives so many advantages like that, like reviving, like right here. I would have done it had uh, we not met. But uh, yeah, I think that's, we got one more guy to go, and this game will be coming to a close. So uh, thank you guys for all watching. Please remember to uh, comment, rate, and subscribe if you're new. And uh, let me know how I'm doing with this, if I'm doing good or bad, thumbs up, thumbs down. And uh, Thank you all for watching. I'm going to let the gameplay go ahead and write out the rest of the video. So see you all soon.